Good evening, I'm Lisa Washington. And I'm Scott Schaefer. We begin tonight with the problems facing a larger than life figure in one Schuylkill County community. Remembered as an advocate for the coal region, the statue of Henry Clay has stood above Pottsville for more than 150 years. Newswatch 16's Marshall Keeley is in the newsroom to explain why some of the community feel his statue is in need of attention. Marshall. Yes, yeah, Scott and Lisa, while he wasn't born in the coal region or even in Pennsylvania, Henry Clay, a Virginian, was an influential politician in in the 1800s. He was so cherished by the people of Pottsville for his support of anthracite coal that less than a month after his death in 1852, work began on a monument in his honor. No matter which way you come to Pottsville on 61, whether you're north or southbound, at some point you see old Henry up there on the mountain. The Henry Clay statue has overlooked the city of Pottsville for 167 years. The monument was completed July 4th, 1855, honoring a man who advocated for what was once Pottsville's biggest industry. Jerry Enders owns Jerry's Classic Cars and Collectibles across the street. Henry Clay being a uh, debater and organizer of stuff, uh, he really did a great job to promote the coal region, the coal industry, the iron industry. So he, he was a great ambassador for Pennsylvania, for the Pottsville area. The statue and base were refurbished in the 1980s, but tall trees began to block Henry's view. For years it was growing up, you couldn't even see it. And then last thing, Legacy got involved and said, hey, we're going to put some lights up. So we invested in the lights. They did have to cut some of the trees, which through the period of time now, the past uh, couple of years, it's starting to erode. The steep rocky bank beneath the monument is washing away with each passing storm, creating a hazard for visitors. Mayor Dave Clues says vandalism has been an issue too. We have people that will, you know, throw trash out on it, throw you know, beer bottles down at the base of it. Uh, you know, just don't, no respect for property. Clues says city officials do their best to maintain and monitor the site year round. Ender suggested adding low-lying vegetation to the hillside to cut down on erosion and improve appearances. This end of Pottsville now is the southern gateway. You got the chopping block is coming here. You have Jerry's Museum, Black Rock Brewing Company. So you got a lot, a lot of stuff going on down here. Clues says he appreciates Ender's suggestion, but admits the project isn't high on the city's list of priorities. When asked about improving access to the monument, Clues acknowledged there's a lot to consider. Access to it, it would be a huge deterrent to that kind of project. You'd be weighing it out, going the investment versus how many people People are going to take advantage of it and by location eh, pretty challenging to, to do. Mayor Clues tells me the lights now illuminating the Henry Clay statue at night have helped out on cutting back and vandalism and keeping squatters away as well. He says the statue is an important piece of the city's history and its future. Marshall Keeley, Newswatch 16, live in the newsroom.